somehow pull one of my nails off at work so I just ripped all of them off and repainted them so I've done them in SE shade I'm not sure this is. it's come off I, I will link it I can't remember what shade this is but um, yeah I've done it in this and then I used the Seche Vite I don't know how you say that, dry fast top coat, which is really good. But I'm really impressed with my nails at the moment because they were quite long. I've had to like cut them and stuff because they go so flimsy. But they actually look quite nice. I'll... This is what they look like. Now, I normally have really stumpy nails, but I actually think they look quite nice today considering I've just took acrylics off. I think they look quite cute. Walking to work now. Um, second, I'm going to Jack Wills. But I kind of made the mistake of like washing my top this morning and it wasn't dry in time and I washed my jeans by accident and then basically just really messed up and I had to like hair dry all of my clothes so I'm now like running to the train station to go to work. so tired um i think i'm just gonna get in and have a chai latte maybe some cornflakes or something for dinner because i just don't feel like cooking <music> just sorted through the first lot of entries for the giveaway all of you guys have actually so far um entered um, there is a couple more but I haven't got them written down yet because a few people did it on Instagram and stuff because I completely forgot that some people don't have Twitter but what I'm going to do is I'm going to write everybody down put everybody at the moment they're all going in this and I'm going to take it to Josh's and get him to pick out a winner but it's going to be completely fair because obviously then I'm not picking and then it's coming straight out of a hat so it's completely potluck like I don't know who it's going to be and he doesn't know who it's going to be and then it's completely fair rather than me doing like some other way um, so yeah. Look at my makeup mess. This is what I do every single day and I get so annoyed with myself for doing it. But I still do. Because I like to do my makeup in this mirror. I'm just getting ready now to go and film with Laura. Because we tried last week but as you know it didn't work. So I'm getting ready now. And Something has just come which is really exciting that I want to show you that I ordered last night. No, what time did I order it yesterday? I ordered it maybe about one yesterday and it's already arrived. I'm so impressed. Oh, yeah. Yay! Bloggersphere arrived! Woo! No, no, they're I've never had Bloggersphere before, but I thought that I'd really like it, so I've got it and I'm really excited to read it and I think I'm gonna subscribe, so it's looking good. The reality is of filming a lookbook at someone else's house. Laura, take note. I've literally got so much stuff with me to bring just to film a lookbook. This is why I always take ages to leave my house because I need to remember everything like my tripod and my camera and my handbag and all the other stuff that you know you need to remember. <laughs> Primark now, look around and then go home. Like the most 
stressful time at like press days and shopping in Primark Laura got started on by some weird chav so we've now got like run with her train and we're knackered but we're gonna film a Primark haul and why am I vlogging? I'm literally so tired why am I trying to vlog? <laughs> but I've now got 6,105 of you that follow me and watch my videos so that's really nice um, having a very sluggish morning today I feel like I'm just doing too much all the time and now my body's like shutting down on me um, you guys have obviously seen from my videos I'm always doing something and I'm always on the go but I think now my body's just decided to crash a little bit Spending my mornings at work again and I'm off to see mum later because it was her birthday last week and I need to give her presents and I also need to get a fascinator or a hat for Ascot tomorrow which is going to be a problem. I know how hectic it is and I know how hard it is to get hats and stuff for Ascot this close to Ascot so I'm fully prepared for that to take a very long time. So I'm dragging mum along to m &S with me to find one and then we're probably going to have a coffee or something with Josh as well and that's my afternoon. Let's just say we've had a good post day there, you know, three lovely parcels here. Okay, so this is everything that just came in the post. Um, yeah. So basically, these are my shoes for Ascot if I can get them to stay on my feet because I've got really flat feet and you know that I find shoes awkward. This is my bag for Ascot and then this is dress potential, maybe. Um, we're gonna see what it looks like on but it's like a little puffball cutesy dress from misguided then I've got some hair product stuff this was all like random PR stuff that I just got I didn't ask for and same with these like it just turned up um, this is all stuff for my dad's um, Father's Day present so like loads of TG for men bedhead stuff um, there's like some waxy stuff and some what's this a hair stick for cool people yeah, um, random things. And then this is outfit two for Ascot if I change my mind about the other one because I don't know which is going to look better and I don't know which shoes I'm going to be wearing because, yeah. Um, completely forgot, even though I'm going tomorrow, that it's Royal Ascot this weekend week weekend and I'm now like crawling in traffic about to hit Ascot I know that the minute I get into Ascot it's gonna be a nightmare do you like it <laughs> <laughs> do you like your card I love my card <laughs> cheeky you're lucky it. it didn't say to go out the shower I'm just gonna tan before I go to bed because obviously I've got Ascot in the morning and Josh is passed out in the bed. Um, I used cleanse and polish in the shower, which I never really do. I seem to have it here, but not here. But my mascara seems to have like fallen off my face. Don't know what's happened. So I'm just gonna tan now, sort this situation out, and get into bed nice and early. It's only twenty past nine, and I'm gonna go to sleep now, so that I'm nice and awake for the morning, so I can film my get ready with me for Ascot for you guys. It is six thirty. I'm driving home from Josh's now. So I'm flying back now, I'm not literally flying back, but I'm going home now because it's the least traffic in the morning and then I'm going to try and film and get ready with me as much as I can, but I think if it doesn't work out then I'm just going to like film it another day, exactly how I did it. So that's today's plan. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out, but we'll see. I apologise because I haven't actually vlogged all morning, but it's because I got home from um, Josh's at 7 and then from 7 till about 8.15 I was literally showering, tanning, showering, tanning because my tan just wouldn't go right and it was because I needed to exfoliate and it was just driving me up the wall so I had a massive drum with that and then my face looked really cakey and then my hair wouldn't go right and everything's just been going wrong so I thought I would just show you my outfit my room is a state because I'm waiting for the taxi to come to take me to the station so that I don't have to drive or walk because I look like a muppet walking not around Ascot so this is what I'm wearing so this is my outfit I'm wearing this purple um, like kind of puffball dress from misguided with a really nice lacy bit at the top 
I've got my patent boot heels from New Look because they're really comfortable. I've got my metallic clutch from Boohoo and this fascinator is Josh's Nan's that she's lent me for the day. And I really, really like this outfit. I think it's quite simple, um, but I quite like the length of the dress because despite it being a bit short, it's like I can get away with it because it's puffable. Um, and it's just really cute and pretty and it flows well. I just kind of like doing this. My makeup, I've gone quite simple. I've done pretty much my everyday makeup. My hair is like doing all sorts of crazy things. Um, I've gone pretty much for my everyday makeup. I just added a tiny bit of eyeshadow and on my lips is You Are Beautiful from Makeup Revolution, which is part of my Makeup Revolution collection, which I've just done. And I'm really zoomed in. Why am I so zoomed in? Ooh, it's a mess. And that's what I look like. But I think this is just so pretty. I love this. But because of the mesh bit, I can't wear a bra. And at the back, I'll try and show you in the mirror. At the back, it's like see-through lace as well, so. <laughs> We're on the train on the way to Ascot now with Laura. And we are, where are we? Wimbledon. Okay, we are the time. Um, yeah, we're just on the way now, and we bought some alcohol to take over us because you know. I genuinely thought I, I was going to cry. I had a lump in my throat. Did you? No. Oh. I've seen her before though. Oh, so maybe yeah. it's because it's the first I time and it's the first time experience. It's very, very emotional. I just real, want to start the But the women are. <laughs> Just got back from Ascot and I think I've given myself like heat stroke or something because we were out in like the full sunlight and we were drinking champagne and stuff and we didn't really think about drinking water. Um, so all I've really had is like a bottle of water and I've really burnt all my shoulders which you can't see because of the lighting in here. But I've got like some weird t-shirt tan on my shoulder which is really fun. Um, but we had a really lovely day actually. It was really cool because I don't normally get to go to the races that often. Like I've been a few times in the past with like family and stuff and like Josh and his family and whatever but I've never really been as like an adult as such like whenever I've been I've always been with like parents and like or had no money and stuff so it was really nice to have some money to be able to bear I won some money but being me instead of saving it I did go and put it back on some more horses so I bet on like every horse in every race which is such a bad idea don't ever do that but that's what I did and I probably shouldn't have but that's what I did and I've had a really lovely day. Yeah, it's half eight now, I've just got back. I bought myself this noodle pot from Tesco's which is sweet chilli chicken. Um, it was only £1.50 but I thought that would be quite a nice little dinner because I'm not massively hungry but I need to eat. And I also bought myself some orange juice which is my favourite kind of orange juice in the world. 
this Tesco's juice, the way they do these bottles, they do like loads of different ones like pineapple and stuff, but they're only £1.40 and they're really good because £1.25 is for like a small Tropicana, like the small ones. So I just got that because I thought I need to get myself some vitamin C and just like rehydrate my body because I'm just so dehydrated. So that's what I'm doing. And I think I'm going to sit down and edit me and Laura's Primark haul and maybe do some blog stuff because I haven't really done that in a while and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm very tired today. It's 12 o'clock, I haven't vlogged yet because I filmed my Ascot Get Ready With Me this morning and then now I am going home. Today is not my day. I basically wasn't meant to be in work today but then I am and then my like driving down I got stuck in loads of traffic and then I had like two minutes to get changed to get the train and I'm on this train but my next one is cancelled so I'm gonna be late for work and everything's just going wrong today so <laughs> brilliant <laughs> I feel like I'm just in one of them days where just everything goes wrong and you just have to laugh because it's just so comical that everything's going wrong station ready to go to work and um, basically got a really long shift today it's meant to only be one till five but it's now nine till five so it's the longest shift I've done at Jack Mills so far which is kind of exciting but at the same time it's a very very early wake up call and yeah I've woken up by the dog sleeping literally underneath my head so I have never been so glad that I parked literally at the door of the train station. I am actually soaked. Like, I don't know how you're going to see this, but my bag is like dripping. I can feel like drips on my head. It's disgusting. I will show you. had a really nice Thai meal in a little place in the middle of nowhere if you can see we're literally in the middle of nowhere um, we're actually only down the road from Josh's house but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere so we're just going to use Tesco's now because Josh forgot Father's Day so Thank we've got to go you, well your dad doesn't watch my videos anyway so yeah we're just going to go get his dad a little present and card and stuff and oh yeah look there's a little caravan let me zoom in This is literally the middle of nowhere. But yeah, so we're just gonna get back in the car now and go to Tesco's and then go home and watch a movie of some sort. What movie should we watch? Not Mean Girls. I wanna watch Mean Girls, but Josh won't watch Mean Girls. What do you wanna watch? Um, Hunger Games, day one. Mocking J1. Okay, yeah, we're gonna watch Hunger Games. But yeah, bye. Editing the weekly vlog and Josh is playing FIFA. Yeah. I've actually forgot to film Josh picking the winner of the giveaway. I'm really sorry about that, but he has actually picked it out of the hat. So I'm just gonna tell you now, the winner is Emily and her handle is Emily with two eyes, Carter on Twitter. So I will tweet you in a minute and let you know that you've won. But congratulations, you've just won yourself a whole load of Makeup Revolution lipsticks. And I will contact you on Twitter about finding a way to get your address and stuff. But well done and thank you to everyone who entered. And I'm really sorry if you didn't win, but well done, Emily. <laughs>